Hey Mojoholics, I'm your host Rebecca and in this 16th episode of Watch Mojo FAQ, our CEO and co-founder Ashkan Karbis Frushin joins me to discuss the feedback on Dan's new show Topics and the possibility of upcoming Watch Mojo books, movies, game shows and more. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo FAQ, episode 16. Joining me as sometimes is our CEO, Ash. Welcome, Ash. How are you? Nice to see you. Not too bad. You're looking kind of tired. Yeah, I was on a red eye from LA, so if my eyes look a bit red, I did not smoke a joint. I'm just a bit tired, but I'm fine, and I'm here, and let's get the show on the road. All right. Last week, uh, you explained how we handle rights, and a user had, I think, a very astute follow-up question. Uh, Andrea are you being a smartass? I am not being a smartass. I actually thought this was a good question. Andrea MGC asks, uh, does that mean that sometimes you add companies or clips in top 10 lists partially because they've asked to be featured? Uh, does that factor into your decision to add one company over another in your lists? And then you replied, absolutely not. Care to expand? Yeah, that is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. No, the, the reason why we mentioned that media companies send us stuff and ask us to promote them is just to show that they largely, by all, for all intents and purposes, support us and approve of what we do. Um, however, as you guys know, you guys determine what we produce to a large extent. And while it's not the only uh, variable, you guys ultimately decide what is on the list as well. Clearly, we research and then it's rather objective and empirical, uh, but in no way. Now, occasionally, I would say we have 8,000 videos, maybe 80 videos in our history, so a very small percentage, have been sponsored by someone. Uh, but they don't necessarily impact what we feature on them. It just means that it's a tie, it, it ties in with a given brand and they want to promote something. Uh, and then they sponsor it and we're very transparent. You'll see a, this, this video is brought to you by someone. Um, the reality is, just to be very clear, we turn down, I know sometimes I'll read in the comments like, oh my God, this was just a cash grab. You know what, fair comment from your vantage point. We turn down 99% of the opportunity. Hey, we turn down 999 out of 1,000 opportunities that are thrown our way because we don't want to insult your intelligence. We feel you're in the driver's seat. This is almost like your channel. We're like the custodians, as, as cheesy as it is. So we don't want to mess it up. And we feel the same way that we can't do a list and botch it because you'll call us out on it. If we were to kind of just try to you know, monetize and whore the channel, for lack of a better word, you guys will, will, will butcher us. You'll show up with pitchforks. Huh. So, so no, not, not at all. They don't determine any of that stuff. All right, moving right along. Last week, we launched uh, the Top X uh, pilot, and we uh, launched the Watch Mojo News series. And we touched on Watch Mojo News last week in the show, but uh, you said that you'd go through the feedback of Topics Episode 1. So what was the feedback? <sighs> I have some feedback. So <laughs> like most of our videos, overwhelmingly, you guys liked it, which is great. But here's the truth. As much as I'd like to think that you all tune in and watch this Watch Mojo FAQ show or your What's Your Mojo show, the reality is like 1%, 1% of you actually care about these shows. Which is a shame because this is where you get to have like a greater say in, in our future direction. And you also get like a sneak peek into what we're gonna be unveiling soon. But since we had relayed what topics was gonna be through these two shows to that 1%, a lot of you were a bit confused. You were like, why are we seeing Dan? Why is he standing at this angle? <laughs> why are you guys focusing so much on YouTube channels? Why is this less scripted? Why is it so opinionated? And you know, what the hell is going on here? So a few of us were moderating the channel and we were quick to point out what we were trying to accomplish, which was it all started again with you guys. You made that suggestion for top 10 movie critics on YouTube. A light bulb went on, and it got upvoted a lot and a lot of people shared it on social media. A light bulb went on that this could be possibly a one-off, but it could actually become a series. And then we tied it to other feedback that we were getting over the years, such as, once in a while, it would be nice if something was a bit more subjective. Once in a while, we'd like to see the host. Once in a while, we'd like you guys to engage with other YouTube channels. So we kind of like married this all together and we, we took your feedback and things that we were thinking of and brought it all, all together. But the main point is, it's one video per week out of 40, 2.5%. So, you know, we're not changing the recipe that you guys made so successful, that you told us you loved so much. You know, 97.5% of our videos will remain what they are once a week, we're gonna do this different thing. Um, and that's the reality, media companies change and evolve. We start off very horizontal, and then we became very focused on top 10 entertainment lists, and now we're starting to expand, and who knows what future forms of media we'll produce. Could be books, which we're working on, 
Could be TV shows, could be movies, could be lots of things. Is that why you were in LA? Uh, yeah, partly. So, um, you know, like I don't know if this is a ha-ha thing, but not a shameless plug, but like I've written a couple books. Um, and I, before starting Watch Mojo, I was working on a manuscript, a, a screenplay for a movie. And I was going to, instead of starting Watch Mojo, do this movie. It was basically like a couple college kids thinking of starting a company together. Think of like a goodwill hunting kind of vibe. But, and then the second part was going to be they start the business. So it was going to be like Mad Men, but like startup scene setting in like the late 90s, early 2000s. And then the third part of the trilogy eventually was going to be like now the business is big Wall Street type where there's like drugs Making and it rain. prostitutes. Exactly. <laughs> like you saw the evolution. That was going to be a trilogy, but I only had enough money to do one. And I thought it was going to be really dumb if I make that bet and then the movie flopped. You know what? Rocky was fortunate. Sylvester Stallone, he did that. And, it was, a, it was a grand slam, so good for him. But that's usually the best way to lose your money and your shirt. So instead, we started Watch Mojo, and the idea was let's produce all this content, build an audience, and then over time we can go and do books, which we are now. But it won't be the kind of books that I published 10 years ago. It's going to be books based on what makes sense to you guys and the content we produce. And similarly, um, I don't know if that idea I threw out there 10 years ago for the movie is what makes sense for us. But imagine if we were to do a movie where we tap into your wisdom and you guys get to control like you guys com could come up with like a new breed of super villains and superheroes and you could even kind of like I mean we'd have to give you choices so it doesn't become a farce but you guys kind of determine the main superhero what are what are his super strengths and the main villain and it's kind of like you know and then with all of you guys you we could I mean we could do movie clubs there's a lot in, in the works uh, like we're even working on a game show so it's just like why because we have a trivia section that you guys actually engage with um, and it makes sense now to have, um, you know, to work on a game show. So the content evolves, but w we would never turn our back to the top 10 list that you guys come and love. It's just we get a lot of feedback and we want you guys to give us more feedback on the direction uh, that we should take and how we prioritize things. Shotgun host of the game show, I'm just saying. Uh, anyway, that would be pretty cool. But uh, if you have any There's comments, not a lot of female. No, there's no. like the one. There's uh, the weakest link lady. So you would be a pioneer. I could be here. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> One last thing. And so this, is, this has been what? Show number 16. We've done, so we've done 15 shows where we talked about a lot of things. Merchandise, uh, the translators for like adding subtitles in foreign languages, the localized versions. So next week, we're actually going to kind of like, it's judgment day. We're going to go back and look at all those things and give you an update. Some of those are rather advanced, like on top of t-shirts. We're expecting a shipment of cups and caps and other crap you guys said you want. So we're going to do that for you. Uh, and you'll see how we're packaging it together, which is kind of unique. It's not crap. Uh, it's not crap. It's good stuff. <laughs> um, but there's some stuff that are taking a bit longer to, to get off the ground. But we still want to give you an update and be honest and give, you, like, a, give ourselves a score for where every initiative is at. Um, and hope you tune in. All right. Tune in. Thanks for watching. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching. And tune in tomorrow for me and Dan on What's Your Mojo. Thank <music> you.